Here we are again, skip counting by threes. Look at my beach ball. <laughs> you made a beach ball pattern? That's cool. Well, all you'll need is some paper triangles. These are a little bit firm paper to make it sturdy. A marker and a hole puncher. Alvin helped us to punch holes here. So we wrote on our triangles from three all the way till 30. Now Alvin, oh yes, you'll also need a little shoelace or a little piece of thread. You can put a piece of tape at the end to make it easier. Alvin here is gonna take the shoelace and he's gonna string them through counting by threes. Can you do that, Alvin? Show us how you do it. Okay, we're counting by threes, so you need to start with three. So he puts it through. Thank you. Keep going. You can make a little knot or just leave it like that. That's good. No, don't pull, don't pull. Okay, what's after three? Three. Six. So he pokes it through the hole. We're using triangles because triangles have three, three sides or three corners. That's why they call triangles, because tri Look means three. Look at that. Three. Look at that. We're going to make our nice little, little six. necklace of triangles. Three, six, nine. nine. We're also following a pattern. Blue, red, yellow. It's nice to make it different colors for variety. So this is a good counting by counting by three practice or skip counting. Look at that. Look at that. It's going to be a nice necklace, Alvin. Three, six, nine. Twelve. Oh, careful. Are you sure that's twelve? Yeah. Does that say twelve? Oh, look closely for your twelve. There is twelve because twelve is one ten and two units. So the one comes first, right? So that's a little idea of what you can do for skip counting. You have fun. Bye-bye, Alvin.